Jubilee Bank Holiday! Yes! And, uh, is anyone interested? Because <laughs> I'm not. Uh, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the days off though, Queenie, even though I would have had them in, in the first place! And uh, yes, folks, it has been officially five years since I first started, since I first grazed onto the YouTube scene um, on June the 4th, 2007. Oh god, it seems so long ago. Anyway, yes, so this is my uh, five year anniversary on YouTube, um, and as always, I have a question and answering session, or a Q&A session. Anyway, uh, before we get on to the questions, like uh, the late great ass Charlie, get all of those questions. First, I would just like to say something first. Um, first off, uh, well done to Crow Alexander for getting promoted after being Cheltenham at Wembley. Yes, we're supporting you guys all the way. Also, uh, the time is 25 to 1. And as you can see from my face, you can probably tell I've just got up. Uh, all I've done is I've just got all of the questions and wrote them down onto a Word document so I can see them. Because, uh, let's say, not all of them came from pub, from um, private message. Thank you very much, Sam. Um, some of them were on Facebook chat or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, but you're wondering, what the heck has Josh got up now? I mean, I know it's Jubilee weekend and all this stuff, but what the hell were you doing the night before for you to just waltz in and, and wake up at this time? Well, I officially woke up at... Well, I officially got out of bed at 6 minutes past 12 in the afternoon. Um, the reason for that is, well, it's not the fact that I didn't go to sleep, like, late. I didn't go to sleep late. I went to sleep at 1 o'clock. So I had 11 hours. Don't know. Don't ask me why. Don't ask, well, do ask me why, actually. So what was I doing on this Jubilee weekend Sunday thing? Well... Was I out drinking with XF8? Nope. Was I just walking around town most of the night? Nope. I was watching Dario Breen until about one. Got all three of his live shows on DVD. So I was watching that, got bored, then decided to go to sleep. Uh, but still the problem arises though, you have 11 hours. What could have happened for you to have 11 hours? Well possibly it was because on Friday, some meddlesome bitch was texting me till 4 o'clock and wouldn't leave me alone. Uh, but apart from that, uh, I was fine. Anyway, let's get on to those questions. Robot Wars Dragon 123 asks, When you retire from Family Wars, what will happen to your robots? Well, uh, if I'm perfectly honest, I've never actually thought about retiring. I've been doing Family Wars now for 12 years. Um, it's not really something that you can retire from that much if you've done it as long as I have. Uh, but, um, if I ever do retire, I don't feel I will, but if I ever do, you know, I, 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 when I'm in retirement, I mean, there's no chance of me coming back, you know, um, but yeah, but yeah, if I was to retire, I would probably put all my robots in like a box and put them in my sister's bedroom or the storage room, whatever we call it now, uh, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw them out. No way would I throw them out. If I threw my first set of robots out from like 2005, we would never have had a Toto Terra or a Hypno Edge, you know, or a Hot Wheel or all that stuff. All those would have gone and the tide of mass Rattles would have changed dramatically. So when I retire or if I retire, I would probably put them in a box and put them somewhere. I wouldn't get rid of them. No way would I get rid of them. They, uh, They've been a big part of my life, but I sort of wouldn't just chuck them out. Yeah. F9, possibly, but no. Anyway, uh, now on to uh, Sweetcat asked, well actually he asked 24 questions, uh, including, what do you feel about cinnamon? Um, all the other ones, oh yeah. Uh, what would you do if you met Jeremy Clarkson? And... If you could have sexual intercourse with one celebrity, what would it be? Or who would it be? Uh, but none of, but, so he asked me to choose a few, and I've chosen two. Uh, sweet cats, sweet cats, blech. Until I've just woken up. Sweet cats asks, how does one get girls? <laughs> well, as you know from my varied, um, 
problems on YouTube and all this uh, stuff with uh, me and a certain person who will remain nameless, uh, I can get girls quite well. It's keeping them that I can't do. But basically, how does one get girls? Uh, I guess it's all about mutual attraction, I guess. Um, keeping girls, I have no clue. No clue, because I've tried everything and they just seem to bugger off. So, I don't know about that. But um, to get them, well... Don't insult them and all that stuff. You know, be gentlemanly. Don't, don't be all this chavvy old bitch going to get in their ass and all that stuff. Because that doesn't work. You'll get a kick in the knackers for that. I haven't tried it, and I have no plan on trying it. Because if I'm honest, in real life, I'm not like that. I, I, I don't do that. And he all, and so that's it for that question. And Sweet Cat's also asked, what is your favourite type of meat? Well, that's easy. Meatloaf. J Space 3 Productions asks, If there were any five robots from Robot Wars you wanted in pullback form, what would they be? Well, I guess the one on everyone's, the top of everyone's list would be uh, Cassie, not Cassie's Chrome. How that would be one I'll put in, just so I can burn it. Um, it would probably be uh, Gravity. Uh, just so I'd like to see the ratio of how much power they can put into the flipper to see if they can make it realistic. It would be really nice to see if they could do that. Um, Revolution 2, in fact, is one of them that I would have wanted. Just because it looks... Come on. Revolution 2 is one of the most awe-inspiring robots in Robot Wars history. All that stuff. Awesome. You know, and, and, all, that, and all that jazz. Um, Elvis from Series 1. Because I would love to see them try and do the sort of the, the lifty thing with the shell. This is just sort of like testing the, uh, the the pullback manufacturers and seeing if they can actually do it. Uh, so yeah, Cassius Crow will be the fourth, because I want to burn it, because it's the worst house robot in the history of anything, apart from the Sentinel, which wasn't actually a house robot, but you know what I mean. It technically counts on Wikipedia as one. And um, lastly, hmm. Well, since we're sort of at seven odd minutes already, I might as well just say a random one out of the blue. Granny's Revenge. Why? Because it's funny. Okay. Emo Rhino 64 asks, I keep losing to your football. Why is this happening? And I suck at Sonic 1. No, I didn't say that. But uh, the reason for that is, you're crap at Sonic 1. And the reason for the other one is, you've only been playing a month. Uh, no, he really asked, what has been your favourite moment from your fourth year on YouTube? Well, that's a nice one to end it off, actually. Um, there have been loads of brilliant moments from my fourth year on the tube. Uh, the birth of the Master Apple board videos. Um, the end of uh, Master Apple series, uh, uh, series 8. Uh, the random videos of me just in different places. Uh, and, you know, and you've got um, my free running video, which, let's say, London Trolls have disliked, but um, it still goes down to a funny video. People laugh at it. They laugh at me. Why not? Uh, my recent one, of course, the uh, Carcass Poo Sticks on uh, Dragon's Dogma, which is actually one of my personal favourites, because I, I do like it. I do like it. But... Uh, my favourite moment of the fourth year? It's got to be. It's got. There's got to be one thing. It's got to be the. Uh, it's got to be the house full of Skype video because, well, up in the, at the time I was doing YouTube for four and a half years, and it was basically apart from a few appearances of X Death Eight and a few appearances with like um, people I know uh, personally and like I see every day, and then you got people like Anton Andre Two and Nemo Rhino Sixty Four and stuff like that. Apart from that, there have been no real videos where I've been, where it's been me and a load of other people. Uh, and the House of Skype one was the first one. Um, it was, um, it was nice. It was nice to just sort of sit back, just sit back in this chair with a bacon baguette down there and a glass of coke over there. And actually have a glass of coke as well. Just put it on the weirdest, absolute stupidest facial expressions while everyone else is chatting. 
No, just, just sitting back once, just once in my five years on YouTube, just to sit back and let everyone else have the floor instead of me just having it. Um, it was, it was fun. It was fun. Um, lasted, uh, what, half an hour. It was quite nostalgic, you know, I, I can, I could, I can look back at my old videos and try and find the best ones to do for my, uh, The Vault, uh, segment. And yeah, um, everyone else was having fun. They were having fun and, you know, maybe we can have another House of the Sky in the future for a thousand videos or something, which I'm nowhere near. Anyway, that's about it for this, uh, but I will say, there is one question that is on everyone's mind, and I'm shocked no one said it, but it's on everyone's mind, so I might as well answer it. Everyone's brain asks, that's everyone else by the way, when is Master of Rules coming back? Well, um, it will be coming back, as I said, for a ninth series, I said that already, uh, with a Legends and a Judgment as well, at least, at least that. Um, anything after that, I can't promise you, because I've, as I said, I've recently finished college, uh, passing with, well, getting three merits, actually, uh, with a level three, a diploma, an extended diploma, in fact, an IT practitioner, and, <laughs> trust me, it's not that impressive compared to what other people have got, Mr. Alex Bowsher, with your triple D, triple stars. Uh, but, um, yeah, so... I do have some spare time on my hands, but it's just trying to get everything ready. I want to get everything perfectly ready before I start filming. I haven't started filming yet. But I want everything perfectly ready so I can start filming. I'm also trying to get a job to get some money up because I'm going back to college, not next year, but the year after, to do a vocational study just to get a C grade in English or whatever, which is why I need to do the H&D, which is the next one after that. I plan on leaving, fully leaving college when I'm about 25, 26 years old. I'm 19 now. But I do have some spare time on my hands, just wanted to get everything ready so I can start Series 9. Um, and when I start Series 9, uh, you won't be seeing any videos up until I finish Series 9. Uh, because I want to, I want this series to be different to other series. Um, you know, I, I don't want to have to feel the pressure of uploading one video every week. I, I want to sort of have the freedom to just sit back and just go... Right, Heat 6 is coming out next. I've already done it! So I'm going to do all the heats, up, um, edit the film, edit, publish. Then I will, after that, I will upload. I will give a bit of time for a promo, and then I will upload the intro for Series 9. And then you'll have one every week. Uh, one heat every week, and the it should last, as I said, about three months. Just like, uh, just like uh, Series 8 before it. But, yeah, Master Thrills will be returning. I don't know when. I can't really say when, because even I don't know when. But uh, I want to get everything ready and sorted before the series begins. You know, tweaking a few robots, making them better, and all this stuff. You know, tweaking others, other stuff, like editing techniques and all that stuff. Um, but once that is done, I will be starting filming, and then after the filming, uh, I will be editing everything, and then once everything is edited, then you will see the first heat, or the first uh, video of Series 9. But definitely Series 9 will be turning up. Okay, so that's it for today. I've been asked, I'll be seeing you next time. Um, happy Jubilee to the Queen. But I don't care. Bye!